Okay, good morning, everybody. I think we are live. Um, sorry for the slight delay, a few technical hitches this morning. So I'm uh, doing this on my iPhone today. So I do apologize if I accidentally bump my headphones and the camera goes to the ceiling. Uh, I will, I probably won't notice it. So, uh, but I'm sure you'll all have your eyes closed anyway and be relaxing. So you may not notice it either. I hope everyone is well this morning, those who are joining us live and those who are not, those who are joining us on catch up. I hope you're all well to whenever the time comes that you wish to watch this session at another time. So welcome to the Virtual Village Hall, live harp meditation, I'm going to call it because that's what you've called it. And um, But don't worry, uh, when I say meditation, it really is just a relaxing time that we're going to have together. So no need to worry about the word meditation. It really just means relaxing and that's all you need to do. So we had a wee sound check, everything sounds okay. I've got Charlotte Hart with me and um, I'm really looking forward to giving you this relaxation session today. So just a couple of things before I start, um, just to make sure, first of all, that you're in a safe place, you're not driving or operating heavy machinery or doing anything that requires concentration that you can either you know, sitting down or lying down, either on a, a sofa or a chair or a bed, whatever's comfortable for you. Have a couple of cushions to hand, just maybe under your knees and under your head, just to give you some extra comfort and a wee blanket would be good as well. If you want to have a glass of water, that's sometimes nice to have when you wake up because you can feel a bit thirsty sometimes. And I would also, if you want to wear headphones or in earbuds, whatever suits you, that's also quite a good idea because it cancels out any extra noise that can be around and gives you a bit more of a deeper experience. So, brilliant. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, and I'm just going to um, get started. So just make yourselves comfortable. And the first thing, if you want to close your eyes, that's fine. If you don't, that's actually okay as well. No problem. Whatever's most comfortable for you. And the first thing that I always think is good to focus on is our breathing. Because although we breathe all the time, the, our body does it for us. Sometimes when we're very stressed or very anxious, we can breathe very quickly. So the idea of this beginning of this session is to slow our breathing down. So what I'd like for you to do is to take a big breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. And obviously if it feels uncomfortable to breathe too deeply, just do what you can. Sometimes this is a weird experience and it can make you feel a little bit lightheaded. So just be aware of that. So breathing in again. And then breathing out. And we'll just try that one more time. Breathing in again. through the nose and then out through the mouth. Great. And often in our bodies there are points where we feel tension more than others. And one of the places I want to start today is a solar plexus, which is just below your rib cage. And this is often an area when you're, we often call it your gut, when you're feeling anxious, that's where you sometimes feel the butterflies. It can be good as well, it doesn't have to be negative. But it's one of the places that sometimes feels tense. So I'd like you to just focus on that area. And you can place your hand there if you wish, if that helps. And we're just gonna do the breathing again. So we're gonna take Three deep breaths in again. So breathing in through the nose. And then out through the mouth. 
And breathing in again through the nose. And then out through the mouth. It's quite a challenge to listen talking at the same time. And breathing in again. And then out. And if you have trouble visualizing that breathing or doing it, I often think of it like the sea, like the waves of the sea breathing in, or the waves coming towards you, and then the breathing out of the waves moving away. So if that helps somehow. And we're going to continue the relaxation by moving up to your heart, the very center of your chest. Again, it's somewhere we can feel tension, we can feel heartache. So it's somewhere that sometimes requires a little bit of TLC. And I like to call this time together that we have is a, is a harp space because it's just you and me and the harp. And I think that's really special, really treasured time that I can hopefully give for you. And just continue to relax and breathe normally. You don't have to force any of the breathing, just let it happen naturally. And if you find it's deepening, that's really good. I'm going to move the relaxation up now to the top of your chest and your neck and your shoulders. And think about bringing the shoulders down. Sometimes the shoulders are at our ears. When we're worrying about things and we're, and we're tense. So we're thinking about dropping the shoulders down. So moving up to your neck and your collarbone. And moving now into the face, <clears throat> into the jaw, unclenching your jaw if it's clenched. Sometimes when we learn something new, our bodies kind of go into overdrive and we tend to tense up places that we normally might not. So unclenching your jaw and relaxing your face, your cheeks, your eyelids, around your eyes especially. Moving up to your forehead, and relaxing that around your temples. And then moving up to your scalp and all over the top of your head. And just feeling that kind of tingling and just loosening off. And then moving down to the back of your head, the back of your skull, all the way down to the back of your neck and across the tops of your shoulders. Just feeling that area loosening, feeling lighter, feeling relaxed. Then we're going to concentrate on the spine. So all the little vertebrae coming from the top of your head, all the way down. Just visualize each vertebrae loosening off. And all the muscles either side of the vertebrae and all over your back. You might want to think of heat being there. Whatever sensation presents itself. And we're just going to do that all the way down right to the coccyx, to the very bottom of your spine. And then we're going to move down 
over your buttocks and down the backs of your legs to your calves to the heels and soles of your feet and then we're going to let this relaxation kind of wrap around your feet and come up to your toes and you can wiggle your toes if you wish and I should also say at this point as well that if you are uncomfortable in any way feel free to move around in your space you know jiggle around you don't have to lie absolutely still because that was probably get more uncomfortable so if you feel the need to shift around please you know do so and coming up the balls of your feet the tops of your feet to your ankles letting that relaxation sink in to those ears And we're coming up to your shins, and to your knees, and to your thighs. Your hips. And maybe gently up into your abdomen, feeling that kind of soften and loosen. Sometimes you might experience stomach rumbling as well. And back up to the top of your ad abdomen. And so now your whole body should be bathed in a kind of warm relaxation. So we're going to do some breathing again, just to make sure that that is still working well for you. So like taking a deep breath in through your nose. And then out through your mouth. I'll do this a second time. Breathing in. And out. for a third time so breathing in again and breathing out so now that we've relaxed our bodies we need to relax our minds as well because as soon as we lie still, lots of things come into our minds usually. If you've ever found that when you're in bed at night and you can't sleep, things start to come in. Sometimes really good things, ideas, but sometimes it could well be, you know, negative things or things that have happened through the day. You might be reflecting on that, which is good, but it can sometimes hamper you to sleep. So we're going to relax our minds as well. So I'd like you to visualise a clear blue sky. And if you find visualisation difficult, some people do, just listen. Listen to my voice and listen to the sound of the heart. And actually that's all you need to do really. This is just lovely extras. Or you can imagine other sensations like smell or touch or taste. So if you struggle to visualise things, there's always options. But we'll go with this beautiful, clear, blue summer sky. And you can see some white clouds across the sky as you're watching it and looking at it. And you find yourself floating in the sky. Because you're actually in a hot air balloon right now. And you can see for miles and miles. The view is just amazing. And you're kind of in the sky, kind of drifting in this wonderful space.
And your view comes upon green canopy, which is slowly coming up to meet you as you drift down. And this canopy is a forest. And it's as green as you can imagine. I mean, it's just like vibrant darks, lights, in between lots of different lights lime greens, dark green, forest green, whatever you want to call it. The leaves are just so many shades. And you start to gently drift through the leaves and you alight and stand on a path. And the sunlight is so vibrant that it comes through the leaves and makes like patterns on the path. And the sunlight is kind of shaded in some areas and brighter in others. And it makes just massive big paint splodges of sun, I guess, on the path. Could even be footprints, who knows? And you start to walk on this path. And it's it's a nice path to walk on. It's not, it's not too stony. That's the kind of path I like. Um, and it just feels really nice to walk upon. So it can be whatever you want it to be. It can be gravelly. Or some stones, or smooth, or mossy. But it's a path that's there for you to walk upon. So it can be as easy as you wish. And there are some little inclines in the path, not very steep, but just enough to just to give your feet a little bit of change every so often. And as you start to walk along this path, you really get a sense of how beautiful this forest actually is. The leaves on the trees are so vibrant and it has been raining too so there's still some glistening sparkling of the water on the trees and you can smell that damp smell that you get when it's just rained and it brings out all the plants and the flowers brings them into the smell of them into focus and the leaves are just so green and vibrant and full some of them are really massive and they're just plump with vitality. It's like this forest is like the most amazing place for growth. And the other thing you start to notice is that there are flowers. And again, the flowers are massive, just big, plump, beautiful petals. And there are sunflowers and there are roses and there are carnations and there are lilies. Just any kind of flower you wish to imagine, pansies, all the different colours of flowers, purples, reds, orange, vibrant, pinks, yellows. And there are little bees buzzing in the flowers. Creating that beautiful droning sound. And of course there are birds in the trees. just have this amazing song and you just can't 
imagine that you're in such a beautiful place. It's it's just so magical and amazing. And it makes you feel really joyful because of where you have managed to place yourself. And the smell from the flowers is amazing too. Such a strong perfume, especially because it's just been raining. In the distance, you are almost sure that you can hear the echoes of a stream. And as you walk further on, this gets louder. And then you find that there's also as the stream comes into view, a waterfall. Which is just cascading water. decide that you'll take a little seat for a few minutes and maybe you'll have a little drink from the stream as you do just to kind of revive yourself and so you take a drink of this beautiful sparkling water and then you decide that you'll fill your water bottle with it too so that you can have it later And you just take a few minutes just to rest. Listen to the water. And watch it sparkling. up from your little stone seat and you walk a little further and as you do another smell comes upon you and then you notice that there are loads of fruit trees and fruit strawberries apples pineapples grapes any kind of fruit you want blackberries peaches nectarines And you go and pick some of the fruit because it's there to be picked and when you taste it, it is so succulent and just like so tasty and the blackberries kind of burst in your mouth with that lightly sort of bitter flavour that they sometimes have, sort of slightly sharp and the strawberries are so sweet and the peaches and the juice is just so like thirst quenching. And so you have a little feast to yourself as you're walking along, just picking up little bits of fruit. And as you venture on, you notice that the trees are starting to thicken a little bit and the, the path that you're walking on is becoming a little bit more mossier and softer again. And you become aware of something just in the trees, a, a, an image. And as you approach it, you see that it's a hammock. And so you decide that you're going to have a little rest in this hammock for a little while. So you get your, 
little blanket out of your pack and you get into the hammock and you cover yourself. Because where you are, it's a little bit out of the sun, so it's a little bit more chilly. And you just make yourself comfortable in this hammock and you can feel it kind of enveloping you and kind of closing in around you, just cocooning you in a nice space. And you can just lie here and just drift for a little while. Or if anything comes to mind, if any thoughts come to mind, just let them drift past. And I'm going to stop talking for a minute or two and let you just drift. After a little while you decide that it's getting a little bit chilly, the wind has picked up a little bit, you can hear the breeze and the wind as it rustles through the trees. And you decide it's time to move on. So you take another little drink of the sparkling water 
that you have taken with you. And you slowly alight from the hammock. And make your way back mm. up the path. And as you do, you notice that the sun is beginning to set and you can see the golden shade of it through the trees. And your balloon is waiting to take you back up into the sky. And you've just picked the perfect time because the sun is beginning to set. you're going to get all the magic, vibrant colours of a sunset, the most beautiful sunset you can ever imagine. But as you drift upwards, remember, and you're seeing all the trees and all the flowers and all the beautiful sparkling streams, as that starts to recede, remember that it's always there and you can always come back to it at any point if you feel that need to go and escape from everyday life for a little while. And so you start to slowly drift upwards. Into the beautiful blue sky. And the sunset is just as beautiful as you ever hoped it would be. And you kind of reflect on the most beautiful day that you've had, a day of absolute peacefulness and tranquility. And you decide that really you would kind of like some more of these days, maybe a bit more frequently than what you've been having. And so now it's time to slowly start to come back into the room where you are at the moment. And this can take as long as you need it to. There is no rush to bring yourself back. In fact, the slower you do it, the better, really. So just start by giving yourself little movements with your toes or your fingers. Maybe start giving your legs a little shake and your hands a little shake. Just moving around in the space, just getting yourself comfortable and readjusted. And in your own time, you can slowly begin to open your eyes and sit yourself up. And maybe take a little sip of that lovely sparkling water that you brought back with you. And when you do stand up, take it very slowly and just put your feet on the ground first and just get yourself anchored into the carpet or the floor before you stand up. Just do this very slowly. If you are listening to this in your bed, and you're ready for sleep, then you can just keep your eyes closed and just drift off. At this point, if you wish to 
leave the space for whatever reason, feel free to do so. However, if you'd like to stay on, I'm going to do just a few little harp tunes um, for you just to continue the relaxation or kind of bring you back from if you've become so relaxed and sleepy. It'll just bring you back a little bit. I won't talk through these tunes. I'm just going to play them one after the other. So I'm just going to take a moment to readjust the harp. I hope you've enjoyed the first part of this session. So I'm just going to play a few tunes for you, so I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> 